I'm Coach Colin Castella, and this is the Rocker Step Move Number One. Rocker Step Move Number One is a live ball move that you use when you still have your dribble available after catching a pass. So it starts by catching the pass in triple threat, where you can shoot, dribble, or pass out of it, right here in your shooting pocket. Now with the rocker step, all you do is you first give a jab step forward. So think about if your defender's in front of you, if you give a jab step, they're probably gonna drop one foot to get ready to move with you. Now the key to the rocker step is as you do your first jab forward, you wanna keep your back leg locked and loaded. You don't want it straight like that, you want it nice and bent, locked and loaded so you can spring off of it and you can spring quickly. Because what's gonna happen is as you jab and your defender backs just slightly, you're gonna raise up keeping that back leg loaded and most likely your defender's foot's gonna start coming back forward. As their foot starts coming back forward, that's when you spring off your back foot, exploding your hips by their hips for an easy look. The first thing that you wanna do is make sure that you catch in triple threat. This allows you to take what the defender gives you. Next, you wanna give a hard jab step at your defender, trying to get them to drop one foot. Make sure your back leg stays loaded so you can spring off of it as soon as your defender starts to bring their foot forward. Then explode off your back foot to get your hips by theirs. Now let's check out Jeremy Lin do it. A 10 player trade between three teams. And the Rockets, uh, great. So Jeremy starts by giving a small jab step. As he does, Russell Westbrook jumps up expecting the high screen. Notice that after his first step, Jeremy's hips are clearly past Russell Westbrook's because he kept his back leg loaded. If you like this video and you want to see more, just click the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Feel free to leave any questions in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching Shot Mechanics.